Mintable NFT tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Mintable and how you can use it to mint NFTs. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to Mintable.app and what I want you guys to do is just simply sign up. Now, before you sign up and start minting NFTs, I would like to tell you guys that uh, before you start minting NFTs over onto any website such as OpenSeas or Mintable or Rarible, you will need to have gas. And what that basically means is that you will need to have some sort of Ethereum inside your wallet so you have to have a certain amount of ethereum inside your wallet to be able to you know sell your nfts now i can't tell you how much gas is you're going to need because on any given day it can change now it can be a hundred dollars it can be two hundred dollars it can even be ten dollars it depends upon the gas value so to find out the gas value just simply go over to gas you will need to have gas value and to find out the gas value what you have to do is go over to this website called pumpmygas.xyz now i don't know if it's a real website i couldn't find the other website that i usually go to for some reason i think they changed it or they closed it up or whatever but essentially it's basically the same so as you can see over here we have different websites and we have different gas values over there now what that basically means is that you're basically boosting your nft or your purchase order or your sale order into the blockchain so that you can sell or buy the nft faster so you're basically paying it to you know sell or buy faster like essentially that so over here as you can see we have 156 gue right now and it can change over here so the fastest one is 229 so always make sure that whenever you're selling or purchasing your nft make sure that your price is higher than the gue number which can help you to sell or buy faster so it's pretty simple now that is what everyone else does so now that we have that out of the way now that you know that you need to have some sort of price or ethereum inside your wallet to buy or sell nfts let's go ahead so the first thing that i want you guys to do is basically sign up so to sign up all you got to do is simply click on the sign up button over here and simply enter in your username your email address your password and then just simply click on create an account and once you have done that all you got to do is just simply log in so i'm going to go ahead and log in so now that we have you know signed up let's go ahead and make an item or mint an item or start minting now but before i do that let me just take a look around so over here uh, we have a couple of different settings so we have your profile over here you have your dashboard you have your messages settings and then you have your own creative store option over here so let's go ahead and do that actually if we click on create a store we can create a store we can start selling our items and stuff like that so to create a store we need to add our items or list for purchases so basically what we need to do is we need to create an nft first so let's just go ahead and do that before we start making a store so let's go ahead and click on start minting now and over here you have two options number one the nft is already in your wallet number two create a new item now what does option number one mean is that basically if you have an nft created on another site such as open seas or rarible but you want to try to sell it over here on Mintable as well. So what that basically will do is it'll copy all of your NFTs into your wallet. And then when you try to sign up over here and you connect the wallet, it'll basically transfer that NFT over here. So if you already have an NFT, just simply click over here and it'll transfer it over here. But if you don't have one, just simply click on create a new NFT. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new NFT. And over here we have two options which is traditional or gasless now that's very interesting traditionally what that basically means is that whenever you try to create an nft and sell it you will have to pay the gas fees as i said before in the beginning but now over here it's saying as we can make a transaction gasless meaning we don't have to pay anything which is pretty simple let's go ahead and click on advanced mode and it'll again give us two options over here gasless so won't appear in your wallet until the transferred or purchase you still own it though which is i guess a little bit of risky but you know whatever and then you have traditional transaction it includes all the features so usually we need to pay a certain amount to you know make a transaction or to sell an nft or create an nft but uh, over here i guess mintable doesn't do that that's pretty nice so let's go ahead and do that uh let's go ahead and choose the gasless option let me just turn it back to easy no transaction fee completely free so 
yeah let's go ahead and do that create a new item so yeah i guess we're doing it so this is how it will look like so over here what we need to do is we need to set the category of our nft we need to add the listing the title and then the sub listing title over here and then just upload our file over here and then we can attach a private file or an unlockable content if we want if we don't want to that's completely fine and then we have a description about the nft basically telling them how we created it where we got the inspiration how we decided to make it stuff like that basically the more the detailed description you have the more its chances are going to be higher of selling but you don't have to you know fill out an entire page you just got to make it accurate it can even be a one liner or two lines whatever it depends upon you as long as it is effective and you get your message to the buyer and then down below you have the option of transferring copyrights when purchased what that basically means is that whenever someone buys the nft you have the option of giving them the right of the nft in my opinion if the person is buying the product then i guess they should own it and do whatever they want with it in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and check this box later when i upload it and then down below you have price and type so what that basically means is that you have three options you have price you have fixed you have auction and then you have auction with buy now fixed means is that you will enter in an amount and no one will dispute that amount and your nft will be sold on that amount auction will mean that people will try to bid on your nft and the higher the bid the more the money you'll make but you know if someone bids lower and then you'll basically be losing money but you can set a fixed price so that the bidding will start there and then the highest bid will win and they will take your nft and then you have the auction by buy now basically what that means is that as soon as like a couple of bids come in so you will have the option of selling your nft to whoever you want which is pretty cool so now that that's out of the way now you know how it all works let's go ahead and do that let me just go ahead and upload my nft real quick and then finish all of this so over here i just basically you know created my own nft i guess uh, i just basically drew a couple of doodles and stickers and basically that so you get the idea right who knows maybe someone will find this nice and they'll buy it maybe who knows some of you will buy it as well but that's the point you can turn anything into anything and people will pay quite a lot of money for that anything uh, that's basically you know the point of nfts are so let's go ahead and upload the mnft that i had don't know what i'm gonna call it though i'm just gonna go ahead with a couple of question marks or say like what is this or something like that what is this and let me just go ahead and upload it again i don't know why it's not uploading we can attach images videos and gifs okay the file preview you upload will be displayed on your own wallet token images and stuff like that okay copy the transfer yeah let's go ahead and do that and i don't know what it is and once you have done that i don't know why it's not uploading this images no information is stored about your related of this this nft yeah yeah whatever and then got it close it up okay add a private file as well so let's go ahead and add that as well okay so i think it's added yeah okay so now we can go ahead and click on verifying your upload please wait a couple of seconds so okay the upload has been verified let's go ahead and click on list this option so you must upload at least one image i am uh, uploading the images i don't know why it's not registering it let me just try another image maybe hopefully that'll be okay so that's it why didn't it upload that one i don't know okay so it's uploaded right now let's go ahead and select the category i am certain confirm i own this content yes it's art and the so subcategory will be visual arts and stuff like that yeah everything looks good scans it says okay what which is weird quite a lot of websites have that okay so i think maybe it's because of all the stickers that i use i guess uh but as you can see this was also my point in telling you guys is that if you guys try to you know upload an image or stickers or stuff like that that are available online then the this website is going to scan the website and tell you that all of these images all of these websites own these images and have this image so please watch out for that and what that basically means is that you won't be able to list your items because you can't verify that you actually own these that image so you have to be sure so let me just go ahead and try another image real quick 
so if i upload this image right and don't attach a private file so let me just see as you can see not found that image was not found i have selected the category and everything else let's go ahead and add in the price so 0 0.99 i'm going to enter in the price so as you can see right now the gas price is 160 which is quite a lot and i'm not going to be you know paying that but you don't have to pay that what that basically means is that you will have to you know keep the price a little bit higher than the gas fee so that the person who will actually buy this nft will have to pay the gas fee that is how you basically get around that so let's go with 200 or actually the gas price was like 160 right so let's go with 170 ten dollars more and uh, wait in ethereum okay list this option so proceed and wait a couple of seconds and after that your nft will be uploaded and you can easily sell your nft and uh, basically do whatever you want with it so that is the entire process as you can see it's very simple it's very easy you don't have to do anything else you don't even have to pay it so that is how you basically use mineable to mint nfts for free and over here as you can see we have to sign in the wallet to actually you know upload our nft so as you can see congratulations you have listed the item so over here as you can see the transaction had not gone through something went wrong we don't need that but you get the gist of it right it's pretty easy it's really really fun so that is how you basically you know use mintable to mint nfts and how you can basically do everything else so that is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye